Hello and welcome to day six and today I'm going to be reading from Mark 5, the verses 1 to 20. They went across the lake to the regions of the Gerasenes. When Jesus got out of the boat, a man with an impure spirit came from the tombs to meet him. This man lived in the tombs and no one could bind him anymore, not even with a chain. For he had often been chained, chained hand and foot, but he tore the chains apart and broke the irons on his feet. No one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and in the hills he would cry out and cut himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell on his knees in front of him. He shouted at the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Jesus, son of the most high God? In God's name, don't torture me. For Jesus has said to him, Come out of this man, you impure spirit. Then Jesus asked him, What is your name? My name is Legion, he replied, for we are many. And he begged Jesus again and again not to send them out of the area. A large herd of pigs was feeding on the nearby hillside. The demons begged Jesus, send us among the pigs, allow us to go into them. He gave them permission and the impure spirits came out and went into the pigs. The herd, about 2,000 in number, rushed down the steep bank into the lake and were drowned. Those tending the pigs ran off and reported this in the town and countryside, and the people went out to see what had happened. When they came to Jesus, they saw the man who had been possessed by the legion of demons sitting there, dressed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. Those who had seen it told the people what had happened to the demon-possessed man and told about the pigs as well. Then the people began to plead with Jesus to leave the region. As Jesus was getting into the boat, the man who had been demon-possessed begged him to go with him. Jesus did not let him, but said, Go home to your own people and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and how he has had mercy on you. So the man went away and began to tell the de in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him, and all the people were amazed. What I think is really, really brilliant about this story is that Jesus comes into his, this man's life and he's, his life is completely controlled by these demons that live in him. And Jesus comes to this man and he talks to him. And even before Jesus even arrived there, the, the man with the demons ran to Jesus and bowed down before him. And that just shows us how amazing and what glory Jesus has. He's got the authority over the devil, over the evil, and he's even bigger than anything else. I think that's really amazing. I hope you can get, I hope you can see like Jesus today in your life and how amazing he is because he's better and higher than anything else that is evil and bad in this world. Have a blessed day.